This is Chad Warner, founder of Optimize. Today I'm going to go through some of the social settings for WordPress, uh, specifically Open Graph, and how that affects how WordPress posts and pages display in social media. Um, so a question that we often get is um, how to alter the way that um, WordPress posts and pages appear when either you or other people post them on social media. Um, so as an example, I'm going to go grab a, a post here. Uh, this is a blog post. I'm just going to grab the link here. And, um, and we can see here there's a title, there's some text. Um, this one does have a featured image. Um, so I'm going to go over here and paste that into Facebook. And Facebook, Facebook's going to go out and grab the uh, information for that post. So we see it grabbed the image, it grabbed the title, um, it grabbed the first part of the text here. Um, the web address, the author. Um, so that's how that shows up on Facebook. Um, and Twitter does something similar. Um, so here it's going to grab image, title, description, uh, web address. And here's how that would look on LinkedIn. Same type of idea. So uh, the question then that we often get is, okay, how do you control that? Maybe things aren't showing up like they should. Um, you know, what causes something to show up like this? Um, so there are a couple answers. Um, here's the Yoast SEO plugin, um, and there's a social section here um, with multiple tabs. Uh, one of them is Facebook, and this is the tab that controls a lot of the open graph uh, metadata. So there's a checkbox here for adding open graph metadata, and then um, the default image URL. So here it says this image is used if the post or page being shared does not contain any images. Um, so that may be the case. You know, sometimes you don't have an image connected. Uh, so you want to set a default one here. You know, that could be your logo. That could be you know something that's representative of your brand. Um, but you want to have something there just so that you don't get um, you know blank um, blanks when you're posting on social media. Um, and you can go and click through the rest of these and, and configure some of their settings there too, um, just to make sure that that's all set up as it should be um, so that the right data is being pulled. Um, it's also influenced on a um, per page or per post basis. So here we looked at um, you know this particular post um, has a title and has um, some text and uh, an image. So here's the featured image in WordPress. So that's what's going to pull by default. Um, if you don't have that set, it will often try to go and pull um, some image from the um, post or page. And sometimes it will even give you options for which ones to use there. Um, so if you scroll down here, there's the Yoast SEO box. Um, and this is showing how it would show up in Google. But um, social media sites are often going to pull the same information. Um, so here, you know, I hadn't written a custom meta description here. Um, so it's just pulling the, the initial text. I could click here and um, you know, write a meta description um, if I wanted to. So I'm going to remove that, and it'll go back to default. Um, there's also here a social icon, um, and this is for um, you know customizing this specifically for Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Um, so if you want to set it separately from what Google is going to see, Google and other search engines, um, then here you can use a different title, different description, different image, um, and override those. And, uh, and same thing with Twitter and Google+, here. Um, so that's how that works. Um, Let's go look at a new page. Um, so here I just uh, created one. I just gave it generic title, page title. Uh, so that becomes the URL. I put some page content in here. Um, if we scroll down to the um, uh, Yoast box here, um, it pulls that in. Here again, I could um, you know, write a better meta description. I'm going to leave that for now. Uh, I have no featured image set. So uh, I'm going to grab this URL, and let's just see what this looks like. Um, a great place to test is the uh, Facebook's um, Open Graph Object Debugger. Um, so you can just search for that um, uh, or click the link in the blog post here. And what you want to do is put in the address, the URL, of um, whatever page or post you're trying to check. Um, and you can say, you know, show me the existing scrape information. So that's what has Facebook already grabbed for that URL, um, if there's anything there. So that's what you want to try first, because if you're having issues, like an image isn't showing up, or it's showing the wrong title or whatever, check first what does Facebook already have. And it'll give you a bunch of uh, details here, which you know may or may not make sense to you. Um, 
particularly you can look at what the what the tags are so it's helpful to here to see like okay what is the actual image what's the description um, and then this is really valuable you um, it'll give you a preview of um, what would be included um, that's some old data so let me refresh that there we go okay um, so right now um, it's pulling this uh, image, which is actually the default that I have set here in uh, social uh, settings. So the image URL, um, that's going to be you know that particular logo. And that's applying because I do not have a featured image set for this new page that I just created. Uh, so Facebook is saying, hey, you don't have an image for that, uh, for that page yet. So we're just going to go use the default one there. So that's why that's important to have that set. Um, if that wasn't set, then that would just be a blank white area. Um, and here agrees our page title. Um, I did not write a custom meta description, so it's just pulling some page content there, which is basically um, just what I've written into the, uh, the, the editor in WordPress, um, and then the URL. So um, let's say we wanted to change this. Here I'm going to say um, this is the best page ever. All right, and um, we're going to set a featured image. This one looks cool. I'm going to grab that, set that, and update my page okay so that is updated um, so now in order to see you know uh, to go grab that content again I need to fetch new scrape information so it's gonna force Facebook to go out and check again um, depending on how soon you do this sometimes it doesn't always grab right away so like here it's you know showing the right image here but the preview hasn't updated yet so you can try it a couple times there we go. Okay, so now we are seeing, here's our featured image that we selected. Here's the description we just wrote. This is the best page ever. Um, and you can say, well, okay, let me see this in a share dialogue and it'll show you exactly what that'll look like. You could even post this right from here. Um, so that is a good way to kind of troubleshoot um, when you're having issues with how things are appearing on social media. Um, the Open Graph Object Debugger from Facebook is a great way to look at that. And then, of course, be sure to go and uh, check how you have things configured in the social settings of Yoast SEO, um, and then how you have things configured um, you know, within your content, within WordPress, uh, and within the Yoast SEO settings there. So that's it for today. For more, check out Optimize.com.